Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Thursday, July 29th. A driver escaping some serious injuries when his car crashed into a pole in Burlington County. This happened on Route 38 in Maple Shade just after 1230 this morning. A suspect in a hit and run rampage is under arrest. Investigators say Kareem Welton struck and killed a woman in Center City yesterday morning. Police also say Welton rear ended a couple on a motorcycle two blocks away and hit another person in Maniunk before striking yet another person in Montgomery County. And later today, President Biden expected to announce that federal employees must show proof that they've been vaccinated against COVID 19. If not, they'll have to submit to regular testing as well as social distancing and masking restrictions. So social distancing, I should say. Now let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Larissa with all of the details already raining outside. Larissa. Yeah, it is. We've been tracking an area of rain this morning, but the threat for severe weather unfolds for us as we head towards later on this afternoon. So we're going to go ahead and take you right into this graphic here. Here's what you can expect on what's shaping up to be a stormy Thursday. Once again, that severe weather threat looks to unfold between the hours of 2 and 10 p.m. tonight. All neighborhoods included in this threat, it's, it's important to remain weather aware as we will be tracking strong storms capable of producing damaging wind gusts as well as an isolated tornado. A daytime high of 81 degrees puts us below average for this time of the year and it's the clouds and the rain that'll keep temperatures at bay. As far as your severe weather threats, once again, heavy rain and strong winds are leading the board, but that isolated tornado threat is something to watch. It'll be a great idea to download that CBS3 app. That way, if you have any warnings out in your neighborhood, you get an alert for it. Your seven day forecast shows we do dry out for Friday and Friday looks fantastic behind that front. The air will be coming in out of the northwest and that'll bring the humidity value down. It'll also keep our things nice and cool out there. Temperatures will re remain in the low 80s. We're tracking lots of sunshine and it gets even cooler and better, if you will, by the start of the weekend. All right, looking fantastic. Thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Thursday.